Hi, Iman. Nice having you with us. Welcome back. Thank you. It's yeah, lovely to be yeah, here. yeah, yeah. And hi, Catherine. Where are you? Can you unmute yourself? Are you still there, Catherine? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm. Hi. Hi, you. Your camera's off, right? I don't see. Right, it. because I'm not looking too great today, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I. I just you. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. Believe me, there are days that, you know that. It's the I call it the bad hair day, and no matter what you do, you can't get it right. <laughs> yeah. You guessed it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those are the days that hats come very handy. So, <laughs> well, well, welcome. Thank you well, so much. Well, welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Connie. Connie, I haven't seen you for a while. I'm tr I, you have to unmute yourself. I can't hear you because you're, you're muted. Yeah, I, I'm not, I can't hear you. Uh, Connie, I can't hear you. I know you're, I can see your face, but I can't hear you because you're muted. So, yeah, you just have to figure out. It's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, well, welcome. So. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. Hi. Yeah, welcome. Hi. Yes, thank you. But I can't see you. I don't know what I have done. I can only hear you. Okay. But I can see you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see you too. <laughs> yeah, what I was saying to you, um, I was with you three weeks ago, I think. I like to listen to your uh, speech. Where do, you started... Where do you live? I know you've told me that and you have to forgive me if I... Don't well, I mean, I'm from Denmark. Denmark, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. For the last couple of years, I have been in Mexico in the winter time, but not this year. Of course, I can't travel. So. Right. Where Where in Mexico? In Ajijic. You know that place? No. No, I don't. No. No. I don't. Yeah. Sounds... It's a, a spiritual community up there. Right, Helik. A Helik. A Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking that if the borders are open and if God willing, it's possible and I can to take to take a couple of weeks off and go to Mexico during Christmas holiday, if possible, if it happens. So, yeah. so it's interesting you brought Mexico up. So I'm really yeah. crazy. I, I love so much being there. Yeah, the, the most beautiful beaches. And the weather is so good, and the Shiva are so nice. Yeah, so nice. yeah. One, wonderful people, very, very sincere yeah. and and uh, beautiful people. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Just simply be easy on yourself and pay attention that you hear complaints are happening here. Something here is complaining. Something here is judging. And don't beat yourself up because if you recognize that you're not your thoughts, the stream of your thoughts, then 
you become mindful of it. You become aware of the complainer, the one who's complaining. And you just notice it. And you can catch it, that its attention goes on judging people all the time, complaining about a lot of different things. And you start to see that. You become aware of it. And you disconnect yourself by simply becoming aware. And what happens is the more you disconnect, which you're in the process of doing it right now. It's happening already. So for some of you, maybe it's quicker or some slower. But the fact that you are here on this platform or you are searching, you know, you're seeking, you're checking out different spiritual teachers on YouTube or going to different seminars and you're working on yourself. The fact that you're doing it, know that you're in a process, you're evolving. Now, sometimes you may not be happy with your own improvements and uh, to yourself, you may feel like you're not going forward and you start beating yourself up. But just know that it's a part of the process. It's an ev evolutionary process of human consciousness that it's in a very pivotal point that it's, it's starting to disconnect from the totality of the consciousness of single-pointedness of a me-me thing that everything's about me, I'm very important, and whatever I get is for me, and forget about the rest of the people, and, and I'm just the center of universe, and everything evolves around me, and my well-being comes first, and screw everyone else. And you're in this process of expanding, of recognizing there is a greater part of yourself. So even though if you're struggling with it, just take this to your heart that you are on the right path and don't beat yourself up. When your mind comes, your mind is going to judge you and it's going to be your then it's going to create a feeling of ungratefulness not being grateful to what is what's available here what you have it puts like a blindfold on you on your head and you keep missing you will miss the juice so okay if you're in that process but just the fact that you're showing up on spiritual path platforms you know i don't know with me with anyone maybe you just check out five different teachers during the week and you go to their seminars which is fine that means you are doing the work and you're on the right path. Now it's very, very confusing. It's very good to get focused and stick to one practice that resonates with your heart and keep, keep, keep at it and keep doing the work and not deviate and jump to this and that because that can also be very destructive and I can't tell you what practice to go take you have to you have to see where you resonate the most with and just go with it and as long as it works for you you you're there till your heart says no but know that your biggest critic is your own self it's your mind that's going to be criticizing you and telling you you're not good enough. 